let's discuss James Olsen. Now we know in Season 2 of Supergirl, James Olsen took up the mantle of the vigilante known as Guardian. And this was an interesting decision because although it was cool, it was never shown to us why he was doing what he was doing and where he was training, where he got all the fighting ability from other than a few weights in his office. And I think what they need to do with James to actually make him relevant again is do something particular with the story that involves James or give him his own side story to help him become a relevant character in Supergirl again. So like I said, one option would be to make the full main overarching story relate to James in some way. Now I don't know how they're going to do that, I, I don't think that's a likely option because obviously we know that Rain is going to be the villain of Season 3 and I don't see how that will possibly relate to James in any way. But there is a second option that I've come up with. Instead of being involved in the whole overarching story of Season 3, James Olsen should have his own side story that is also overarching the entire season that not necessarily relates to the main plot, but only specifically relates to James and also Wynn and Lyra. Maybe not Lyra, but you know, James and Wynn, that team up is really cool and I think them too, they need their own overarching story throughout the entire season to make them relevant so we're actually engaged in what they're doing and it's not just the odd criminal here and there, it would be a lot more developed and a lot more fun in that way. Also, I think another reason we find it hard to kind of relate to James as being Guardian is he has nothing to fight for. Maybe give him a new love interest, I don't know, and then link her into the, that side story. And then that way, James not only has a story to go through the entire season and keep going back to, but he has something to fight for other than just he feels he wants to be heroic and he wants to be like Kara. He actually has something that triggers him to become Guardian and become relevant on Supergirl. So tell me in the comments below what you think of this theory, tell me what you think is going to happen with James in Season 3, because I think James is a really good character, and I like the fact that he is Guardian, I just have not seen why he has become Guardian, and why he does what he does, and he just doesn't have his own story that makes him interesting or compelling, and that's what he needs. So thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time.